Hello and welcome back to Moving on the Map with Dana. Uh, we're just going to do um, a cat-cow based workout, so more grounding. And so we're going to start with sitting. So just coming into the easy pose. Um, actually, let's try bound angle pose first with soles of the feet coming together. And just try to let the hips release, knees sink, spine lengthen. Deep breath in and out, just feeling that sense of grounding before we begin anything else. So again, being centered, being relaxed, releasing those hips, lengthening that spine, deep breath in and out. And then we're going to take one leg out long, cross the opposite leg over to a sitting twist, simple sitting twist. And this arm is going to come up and open wide to the side, opening the shoulder blades, opening through the chest, lengthening spine, just a simple twist here, deep breath in and out. Return to center. Let's shake out those legs, pound them out, loosen up those muscles, release any tension. Let's try the opposite leg coming over. Bring that foot in towards your hip. Again, lengthen your spine. Bring the opposite arm up on the outside of the knee and lengthen and look out. Squeeze out those abs, open the shoulders and chest. Deep breathing. Return to center. Let's come into easy pose next. So just crossing those legs in front, okay? Sinking back, and let's start simply with chin to the chest, and then lift up. So just warming up through the back of the neck and shoulders. Let's do two more chin drops, and lift. One more time, breathe in. Back to neutral, look over your shoulder. To center, other shoulder. Center, let's do two more of those. Breathe in, and out to the side. One more time, breathing in. Exhale, look out. Breathe in and out. Okay, back to center. Ear drops to one side, ear to the shoulder here. This hand's gonna sweep around the back. This hand's coming on top and just resting on top of the head like a hat, opening that side neck shoulder. Relax, release, other side, ear to the shoulder. This hand's coming around and up the back. Hands resting on top, open that side neck, shoulder. Deep breath in and out. Relax and release. Let's take a deep breath and arms up. Exhale out, down the center. Let's round out. Arch forward, forward fold. Reach and stretch into it. Then lengthen your spine up to the ceiling or sky. And we're going to bring the elbows in, squeezing through those lats, squeezing through the sides, palms wide, like a W shape. Squeeze out. Sweep around the back and open the shoulder blades, open the chest, roll it back, opening the heart chakra, and then roll out. Loosen up the shoulders, circle it out, deep breath in and out. One more circle this way, and then stop to the other way for four, three, two, excellent. Let's bring one arm across, hug it in, bicep shoulder stretch, deep breath in and out. Again, we're getting into that rotator cuff as well. One hand to each shoulder. And then again, wrapping into eagle arms. Just relax here, breathe into the upper back and shoulders. Sweep those arms open wide, round the back. Stretch out the shoulders and chest. Let's try on the other side. Arm across, hugging it in, bicep shoulder stretch. One hand to each shoulder. Wrap into eagle arms, relax, breathe. Release, sweep one last time around the back, open the shoulders and chest, and then shake it out. Give everything a shake, shake, shake. Let's do some circling or lengthening it out, getting into the sides of the body, loosening up the spine and the hips. So lengthening spine, breathe in and out, circle side, arch back to the other side, roll forward, come up tall, let's switch legs. Opposite leg forward, opposite leg in. Let's do the circles the other direction. A couple more times around. Taking your time. Breathing in and out. Let's do two more circles. Just loosening things up, lengthening it out. Deep breath in and out. One more round. Come up tall. Excellent. Okay, we're going to move into all fours, into the cat move. So, again, take a minute to get yourself centered. Hands directly under the shoulders, legs hip width apart, spreading palms, spreading fingers. And let's just shift forward, slide side, 
arch your neck, sink back. Let's do one more time around this way. Stretching out the hands, wrist, fingers. Then go back the other way. Breathe in, breathe out. Shift around one more time. One more big circle around. Come back to neutral. And again, we're going to go into the simple cat-cow move. So like a cow move, we're going to breathe in. Tailbone up, head up, look up. Then arch round, breathe out, empty it out. Round that spine to cat. Again, breathe in, scoop up. Exhale, empty it out, arch it out, round it out, breathe out. Two more sets. Breathe in, limber up that spine, arch out, breathe out, round out, tailbone down, head drop. One more time, breathing in, scooping up gently. Arch it out, round it out, breathe out. Back to neutral. Now we're going to go into the lateral cats to the sides. So shoulders are moving a little towards hips, squeezing up the side oblique, and back to center, deep breath in. Exhale to the other side, squeeze out, look out, breathe in. Exhale, side bend, stretch out, breathe into center. Exhale wide through the side. Let's do one more time each side, breathe in. Exhale, look out, squeeze out that side oblique, breathe in, center. Side bend, stretch, and let's come back into child pose for a little break. Sink your tailbone back, walk the hands out, sink down, deep breath in and out, breathe into lower back. Sink that tailbone to the floor. Let's walk our hands off to one side for a side body stretch, opening side ribs, side oblique, lengthen it out. Walk ourselves to center, relax, breathe. Walk your hands to the other side, reach it, lengthen it, reach those fingertips as far as you can. Breathe deeply into the side ribs. Turn to center. Okay, let's come up slowly. And this time we're going into wave cat. So we're gonna add a wave movement to the cat cow move. So we're gonna sink back a little bit. And then we're going to scoop low, like a wave coming into the shore, round up, and then arch and sink and round back. Again, breathe in, scoop long, open the hips, lengthen the spine, arch, round, sink back. So again, just like a wave, moving into the shore, then rounding and arching back, keeping it moving. Let's do two more. Breathe in. Exhale out. One more time. Big breath in. Scoop long, open the hips, lengthen, arch, round, sink to child pose, rest and relax and breathe okay so from here we're going to scoop forward into a cobra so we're almost there we're going to come out scooping low grounding palms opening hips opening chest lengthening arms lengthening spine opening those hips and just hold here for breath or two in cobra feel that stretch of the hips lengthen the spine it's a small back bend deep breath in and out let's round out sink back child pose rest and take a little break here, relax. Breathe deeply, feel that stretch, feel that lengthening in the spine. Deep breath in and out. Okay, let's come up and we're gonna do the down dog. So just warming up the back legs this time. So grounding those palms, shoulder width apart, coming into your back toes. Push into those legs, sink back to downward facing dog. And just take a few seconds to walk the dog, stretch out those legs. One leg than the other, lengthen through your spine. Lengthen the back of the waist. Deep breath in and out. Let's take it to a three-legged dog. One leg comes up. Lift and lengthen it up. Deep breath in and out, palms grounding, leg lifting, other heel sinking, stretching. And turn down. Let's try the side two, same thing. Lift, open the hip up. Lengthen, stretch and breathe. Ground those palms, lift it up. Deep breath in and out, return to the floor, and return to child pose. Relax back, sink back. Deep breath in and out. Okay, scooping forward, one more cobra. Grounding palms, shoulder width apart, opening hips, opening chest, lengthening spine. So hips are loosened up a little bit by now. Feel that stretch, lengthen the spine. Roll back to child pose, round back, sink back. And relax. Deep breath in and out. 
Okay, so we're coming back into all fours into table, and this time we're going to do the bird dog. So a little strengthening through the back and shoulders. So extending, opposite arm, opposite leg, balancing, lengthening, and reaching long, then rest. Let's try the other side. Extend out, balance out, opposite arm, opposite leg, reach long, hold steady, relax. Let's do four more. Opposite arm and leg, lengthen, lift, balance, reach. Rest, other side, lift, balance, reach long, hold steady, and relax. Two more sets, each side, breathe out, lengthen long, hold it, reach it, balance it, rest. Other side, lift, extend, lengthen, good. Okay, one more time, each side, breathe out, lengthen. Keep everything parallel to the ground, lengthen that leg and arm, rest. Again, breathe out, extend, balance, lengthen, relax. Okay, so we're gonna do lateral dogs. So like we did lateral cats, we're going out to the sides of the body. So same move, so right arm's going to right side and a hydrogen lift to the left side. Just lift and balance and rest. So other side, knee out, parallel to the floor, arm out, reach, balance, hold, and relax. Let's do three more sets. Breathe out, lift and lengthen, and rest, other side, parallel to the floor, lift it out, lengthen it out, rest two more sets, <sighs> breathe out, hold, rest and relax, other side, breathe out, lift, lengthen, rest one more time each side, <sighs> and relax, final lateral lift, lifting, balancing, reaching, and rest, and child pose. Relax back, take a few seconds here to sink back, sink down, breathe in and out. Turning back up, back into all fours. Okay, so this time we're doing our tiger curls. Back work, but mainly a, an ab workout with a crunch in the center. Okay, so extending opposite arm, opposite leg in the bird dog. That's how we start. We're gonna crunch elbow to knee, then lift it out, breathe in, lengthen, let's do five. Crunch in four, three, crunch two, one more time, elbow to knee, reach up, and again, see if you can grab that back toe, and again, this is tiger pose, lifting that leg up, balancing out, opening the hip up, release down, and we're going to do the same stretch and the same set of tiger curls on the other side, so extend, balance, lengthen, hold it, tuck it in, reach it out, elbow to knee, then lengthen for five, four, three, two, one more tuck, lift it up, see if you can grab that back toe, tiger pose lift, deep breath in and out, release out, and sink back, child pose, rest, breathe into that lower back, sink, Okay, walk it up. So we're gonna do um, a little more ab work, and then we're gonna finish off with a few extra stretches. So around the world, the planks. So you're gonna come first into regular down dog, sink those heels back, lengthen that spine out, deep breath in and out, stretch it out. Walk those hands forward to the front of the mat, everything parallel to the ground, keep those abs and hips low. This is the plank pose. We're gonna drop down onto the forearms and hold for 20 seconds. So coming down, hold over 20. Keep those abs and hips low. First 10, we're halfway. Five, four, three, two. Come all the way down, rest down. Okay, a little bit of back work here. We're gonna bring the arms to the sides of the body, heads on the floor, heads resting down. Legs long. Resting on the floor, deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna reach the hands to the heels, looking to the floor, squeezing through the shoulders, lifting the legs just a bit, then rest. Let's do five more. Slide through the sides, squeeze the shoulder blades together, reach to the heels, lift, lengthen, rest. Four more times, deep breath in. Breathe out, slide through the sides, squeeze through the shoulders, look to the floor, reach those heels. Rest, a couple more times, breathing in. Exhale, lengthen, lift and reach. 
and rest. Two more times, breathing in, slide out. Shoulder blades together, squeeze, reach. Feel those back muscles working, rest. One more time, breathing in, breathe out. Shoulder blades together, squeeze out, lengthen, lift, rest. Take a break. Deep breathing, relaxing. Slowly coming back up onto hands and knees. Walk those knees in a little bit. Find your palms, ground those palms. We're gonna press the ball of the foot into the floor and sink one heel back. Stretching at the back of the calf, back of the soleus. Deep breath in and out. Just relax here and stretch here. Breathe into it. Feel that stretch of the leg. Knees together, switch sides. Ball the foot on the floor, ground those palms, sink that heel back. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg, deep breath in and out. Relax into it, stretch into it. Knees together. Okay, now we're gonna go into another cat move, the cat twist. So one arm up, you're gonna reach it up, you're gonna slide that arm all the way through, the head and shoulders come down, right down to the ground, look out, rest down, be comfortable. Reaching through, looking out to that side. If you want to add the opposite leg as an extra, that's optional. You're rolling it back a little, sinking into it. The leg is optional. You're just getting into that mid-back, shoulder area. Deep breath in and out. Feel that stretch. Slowly bring the leg in and bring that back arm up. Okay, good. So again, this is a mid-back thoracic spine stretch. We're going to try the other side. We're going to reach up, look up, slide through, head and shoulders come right down. Reach, 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 look out. Deep breath in and out, moving over a little. And again, optional if you want to add the opposite leg out to roll back a little deeper into the back and just relax here. Be comfortable. And bring it back up. And, and so again, always making sure head and neck are comfortable. I, I've never really had a problem with that, but again, some people, you know, you have to be restful, just sink into it, feel that stretch. Okay, so that's cat twist. We're gonna come into doing um, down dog and down dog twist, which is a little harder. Okay, so coming first into down dog, push through the legs, sink back, lengthen out, deep breath in and out, stretch out. Then one hand's gonna come up and over to the opposite ankle. You're looking under the armpit. You're reaching through. Again, getting into that mid-back shoulder and legs a bit. Lengthening, reaching. Return to center. Let's try other side. So again, sink back. When I'm up, reach across to opposite ankle. Look under. I'm looking under my left arm, reaching with the right arm to the ankle, stretching out. Turn down, sink back. Relax, take a deep breath in and out. Breathe into that lower back. Take a minute for yourself, rest here. We're gonna slowly roll up, roll out the shoulders. Again, so it's just a quick little stretch with a little bit of toning for the back, for the abs, a little bit for the shoulders. Going the other way, rounding it out. We're gonna take it to sitting, easy pose. So just sit back into easy pose. Crossing legs, easy pose, deep breath in and out. Take a few deep breaths here. Just relax the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. So I'm gonna take my right hand up and move it to the left knee and a simple sitting twist, opening the shoulders and chest. Similar to what we did in the beginning with the legs, just a little different. Opening the shoulders, looking out. Deep breath in and out. Return to center. Let's cross the legs, switching the direction of the legs so the opposite leg is in front. Opposite arm's coming up. Other hand's behind the back as you bring that hand over to the knee. Open the shoulder blade, open the chest. Squeeze out those abs, lengthen the spine. Open chest, back, shoulders. Breathe deeply. Let's come back to center. Okay, again, hands together. Round out forward, stretch to the front. Feel that stretch of the body. Lift to the ceiling up. Again, reach out. Let's bring the hands behind the back. Open the heart chakra, open the shoulder blade, open that chest up. Stretch it out. Round out, release out. Deep breath in and out. And let's go the other way. A few circles, four, three, two. Back into bound angle pose, which hopefully feels a little easier 
a little more stretchy, a little more grounded than it did in the beginning. Let's take a few seconds here again, breathing in and out, quieting the mind, centering the body. Okay, so one more quick stretch. We're gonna come into tabletop, so small back bend. Legs are gonna come out, arms gonna come behind, just windmill them behind, shoulder width apart, round through those palms, and lift through the hips, lengthen up through the spine, open those hip flexors, strengthening arms, abs, back, deep breath in and out. Slowly return back to the ground. Walk your hands forward one at a time, reaching forward into the ankles, folding forward, feeling that hamstring stretch. Lengthening that spine, deep breathing, <sighs> relaxing, and then slide back up. Okay, easy pose again. We're going to finish with a little bit of breathing. One hand to the heart, one to the belly. Slow, full breaths, quieting the mind. <sighs> Try to feel that breath moving in out of the body. You want to feel the expansion as you breathe in and emptying as you breathe out. Let's do two more of those. One last big breath in. Okay, relax, shake it out. And we're gonna finish with extended inhalation for a change. So, building our inhale, expanding our lung capacity slowly. It's also very helpful for this exercise if you have low blood pressure, okay? So either way, it's good for everybody for lung capacity. So we're gonna start with the easy breath in four, easy exhale four, build to five, continue to exhale four, build to six, exhale four. We're gonna try to get to 10. Just do the best you can. Always remember you can go back to regular breathing at any time. Here we go. Breathing in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, Four, breathe in, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exhale, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exhale, two, three, four, breathe in, return to breathing, your own regular breath, catch your breath, hopefully you got to ten, but it's okay if you didn't, just keep track of how you felt during that exercise, or at what point it became hard, we're going to slowly breathe in, bring those arms up, Exhale out, breathe in, exhale lotus mudra, thumb and pinkies are staying together and we're just taking a quiet minute here, breathe in, smell the flowers, exhale out, relax, breathe, breathe in one more time, deep, deep breath in, Exhale, and again, just throw those petals and flowers away. Shake it all out. Thank you for moving on the mat with me today. This is Moving on the Mat with Dana. I hope you come again, and I hope you like this video. Take care. Have a good night.